Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can push to GitHub, pull from GitHub, and manage conflict if any conflict occurs. And we're going to do all of this using just Visual Studio Code. So you're not going to need to rely on your terminal or your console. Now, if you need any more resources on everything I'm going to show you today, here is a link above me where you can find out any more needful information you need regarding pushing and pulling from GitHub using just Visual Studio Code. So let's get right into it. Let's start with cloning a repository. I can do this by clicking on the source control tab and clicking the clone repository uh, button. This button is here because there is no project set up inside this VS Code instance. This is just hitting command N or control N on VS Code and opening a brand new VS Code instance with no project set up in it. You would get this option in both the source control tab or the file explorer tab to clone a repository. Now click on clone repository and then choose clone from GitHub. Then I can search for, okay, it's just right away here. I've just want to clean, clone this published GitHub folder. If I click on it, I'll be asked to pick a folder where I want to clone this into. In this case, I'm just going to clone it into the temp folder and give it a few seconds. Uh, VS could quickly clone this repository into that folder I selected. Now I would need to click on open to open this project inside this VS Code instance. Now you can see the very basic project just a index.html file and a .git ignore file that just ignores a .png file if you have one. I'm going to quickly remove this. Let's add some changes to the index.html file and use these changes to demonstrate how pushing works from Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to remove this lorem ipsum placeholder and replace it with a hello message. Now once we've done this, we need to, co we need to commit these changes. Uh, we can add a very simple commit message. In this case, we replaced lorem with hello. Then commit with this message. Now, once you commit, you expand this commit, this commit uh, uh, drop down according. I don't know what to call it, but expand it, and then you would see that uh, this green, this green colors indicate that there are changes that you've made locally that are yet to be synced up to your GitHub repository. Now, the ones below those green uh, green color are commits that already exist on GitHub, but the ones above this green, the, uh, above uh, within this green region means that there are changes made locally to Visual Studio Code that are yet to be pushed to GitHub. And to push these changes, click on this arrow and you would get um, a message saying, hey, I will push one commit to origin if you confirm. Yes, we want you to push this. So just click on push. And then we should do code. We take a few seconds and push these changes to GitHub. And you can see that the changes are no longer like, the, they don't look lit with the green color because they've been uh, synced up with uh, the GitHub version. Now moving forward, this is how you pull from GitHub. But first of all, let's imagine that someone on your team went to your, went to the same GitHub repository and made some changes or pushed some changes to this GitHub repository. And now you are trying to sync these changes to your own uh, local version. Now to simulate this kind of changes, since it's just me like pushing to this one repository, to simulate this, I'm going to head to that repository and add changes directly from GitHub. So I'm going to edit this and remove hello, or rather say, uh, let, let's click on edit first. Now rename hello to hi or whatever you like. Now we need to commit these changes and you can provide a commit message that said that says renamed hello to hi in index and then commit these changes. Now at this point your local um your local version of this project is out of sync. So what you need to do is to head back to this commit tab once more, click on this downwards arrow. The upwards arrow is one we used to push, which if you hover over says push, and the downwards arrow says pull when you hover over it. So if you click on it, you would see that VS Code is saying we'll pull zero commits into this repository. This is because it doesn't, it, it, it's not, it wasn't able to sync with GitHub, but that doesn't mean that these changes don't, don't exist. So if you click on this, it will still regardless run a pull, a git pull command to fetch those changes that you've made uh, on GitHub. So you can see that this is now renamed from high, from hello to high rather. Lastly, let's introduce a match conflict to this project and see how we can resolve that 
using Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to come to this paragraph locally and say hello code beast and head back to GitHub, edit the same file once more and say hello uh, my last name number then uh, I'm going to commit this change updated greeting I'm going to commit this one as well updated greeting with username now you will, you will see that we are going to encounter a problem if we try to pull the changes we've made from uh, github from uh, the changes that are already existing on the github project down to our local project and right, let's try this and see what happens you click on the pull command and click on pull you would see that a merge conflict has uh, occurred and what we need to do at this point is to either accept the current change which is the one that is local which is the added high code beast or accept the incoming changes which is the one that's coming from github or we can accept both changes if it doesn't cause any harm or lastly we can just like um can compare the changes and see if if this is a huge file that has a lot of things going on you can compare the changes and see if we can manually like or surgically remove what we don't need or what and what we need and that's about it when it comes to uh pulling pushing and managing match conflicts our cause when pulling using research to code thank you and bye